as far as the first question is concerned, that can he attend the funeral of the non-Muslim, whether they be Muslims or Christian? Allah gives the reply in Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 84. That, O Prophet, you cannot pray for them, referring to the non-Muslims and, and the Munafiks, the hypocrites. You cannot pray for them after they die. And you cannot stand at the grave because they rejected Allah and his messenger. And they were against, they were enemies of Allah and his messenger. So this verse of the glorious Quran, Surah Tawbah, chapter 9, verse number 84, is very clear cut that you cannot pray for the non-Muslims and the Munafiks after they die. You cannot stand on their grave. Now regarding attending funerals, there's a hadith in which once there was a funeral of a Jew passing by and the Prophet stood up. So the Sahaba told, Ya Rasulullah, this is the funeral of a Yahud, of a Jew. The Prophet saw that. So what? He's a human being. From Allah we come and from Allah we and to Allah we return. So based on this hadith, there is no problem respecting a dead body, even if it's of an unbeliever, of a non-Muslim. That is very clear cut. Regarding attending and bearing, as far as bearing a non-Muslim is concerned, we come to know that if the non-Muslims among themselves can bury the non-Muslims, we should not, it is haram for us to bury them. But if there is a situation where no one is there to bury the non-Muslims, then the Muslims are permitted to bury them. And this we get from the indication, from the incidents of after the battle of Badr, where many of the enemies who were non-believers were killed and the Prophet told the Sahabas to bury them. So if the non-Muslims, there is no one to bury them, as a last resort, then the Muslims can bury them. Otherwise, in the normal circumstances, when the non-Muslims can bury the non-Muslims, or the relatives of non-Muslims can bury, we should not do, it's not permitted. It's very clear cut that as far as praying for a non-Muslim who died as a non-Muslim, committing shirk, it is haram. It is also mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Maryam, chapter number 14, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals to Ibrahim alayhi salam that you cannot pray for your father for forgiveness. After he dies, so the Prophet had promised he'll pray, he prayed, but when he came to know from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he cannot pray even for the father if he's died as a mushrik. So after a person has died, unanimously all the scholars agree and the Quran is very clear. You cannot pray for a non-Muslim for his makhfira, for his forgiveness, for his well-being after he has died. Bearing is concerned, you cannot bury unless there's no one to take care. Then as a case of humanity, you can bury. As far as praying for a person who died, it is not permissible after he dies. As far as attending funerals are concerned, it is unanimously agreed amongst all the scholars that no one can attend the funeral prayer of a non-Muslim. Because in the funeral prayer of a non-Muslim, you are asking for forgiveness and you cannot be parting there. But as far as attending the other aspects of a funeral of a non-Muslim, the general ruling is there that the Muslims should not attend the funeral of a non-Muslim unless he is a close relative. And this we come to know from the incidents that when, when Abu Talib was the uncle of the beloved Prophet who supported him, who was one of the staunchest supporters of the Prophet, but because he died as a mushrik, he did not accept Islam. The Prophet himself did not attend the funeral of his uncle, who was one of his staunchest supporters. But he told his cousin, he told his cousin Ali Radhalaw An to go and attend the funeral of his father. Hazrat Ali, may Allah be peace with him, was the son of Abu Talib. He was the cousin of the Prophet. Because he was the father, he told him to attend. So he, he cannot pray for the makhfira of his father. He cannot pray when the father has died, that may Allah forgive him. But he can attend the funeral, but not the funeral prayer. Scholars differ that when, if you are a relative, you can go with the procession of the funeral, 
some scholars say that you should be ahead of the funeral procession so that the, the procession is behind you. Some scholars say it is accepted you can be at the side. That means all agree we cannot follow the procession. It is preferable to be ahead. That also if you are relative. If you are not a relative, majority of the scholars say you cannot. Only a minority of the scholars say a non-Muslim who is not a relative can attend the funeral. But the majority of the scholars of the opinion that if you are not a relative, you should not attend the, the funeral. Not even the procession and when the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him did not do to his uncle who protected him. How can you do? But if you are relative you can but you should not take part in the funeral prayer. That is very important. So when you are following the procession see that your head is preferable. Some scholars say you can be at the side also but you should not follow. So as far as attending funeral this is very clear cut. But Coming to the other part, this is the main question that has been answered. But as far as giving condolences to the non-Muslim relatives of the person who has died, this is accepted. If you visit a non-Muslim who is sick, it is mustahab. Visiting a sick person is mustahab. Visiting a Muslim who is sick is a mustahab. Even visiting a non-Muslim who is sick is mustahab. You can very well visit a person whose relatives have died. He is a non-Muslim. Give condolences. You can very well sympathize. But see to it that do not pray for the person who has died. You know, it's a common saying that when you meet people in condolences, may your father's soul rest in peace. You cannot say this. You cannot say this to your relative, who is your cousin, and your uncle maybe, who is a non-Muslim who has died, you cannot tell to your cousin that may the soul of your father rest in peace. This is praying for Makhfara. This is not permitted. You can go, you can sympathize, you can say, do you want any help? Do you want any money? Do you want some support? Fine. You can sympathize. You can, you can give your condolences. But see to it, you, denote, you do not use such words which are asking for forgiveness of your father who has died or asking something close to Jannah or good life in the hereafter. You take care. Very well you can visit. Even if you are not a relative. You can visit a non-Muslim friend. No problem. After the funeral is over. Give condolences. Visit him when he's sick. All this is permitted. It may be a good opportunity to dawah. No problem.